The Crusades, popularly conceptualized nowadays as a clash of civilizations, a struggle between East and West, between Cross and Crescent. What is seldom talked about, however, is how it could have facilitated an exchange of ideas, art, culture and technology. On the whole, you have perceptions of the Crusade as a clash of civilizations. that it's really about Western uh, dominance over Islamic culture or something like that, which is a ridiculous uh, perception. I think really, over the course of the 12th and 13th centuries, after the Crusades, uh, there's a lot more contact, quite simply put, between Western and Eastern culture, uh, between Christians and Muslims. There's a recognition of the, of the great advancements in science, uh, the, the, the recognition of mathematical genius, uh, the use of the number zero, things like this, the things that are alien concepts in the West uh, and in Christian culture that get picked up, and all for Arabic science and medicine in particular. The, the, the contact affected sort of Western, Eastern, especially on the West side of the relationship, uh, um, affected knowledge uh, uh, quite dramatically. We know that until basically the 11th century, until the times of the Crusades, very little was known about Islam in the West. It is only really with the 11th century that this knowledge becomes much more deep and, and articulated. To find out more about this idea of a social and cultural exchange, the team has visited various locations around London in search of evidence. Well, I think in this part of London um, you can obviously see that the Crusades and the military orders had a presence and an impact here. Temple Church is just up the road and um, this uh, site was very much um, founded on and supported by the Order's um, prominent role in the Crusades. The Cloister Garden, found here at the Museum of the Order of St John, is modelled off of the herb gardens that could be found at the Order's hospitals, such as the one at Jerusalem. The practice of growing herbs was borrowed from the Levantine Arabs, and so its presence here is evidence of an exchange of medicinal techniques that took place between the Crusaders and the Muslims. So right here in central London, we have this great evidence of an exchange of medicinal practices that occurred during the Crusades. And this is just it's very striking because it's something that isn't very well known about, and yet things like this are right here to see. We know that um, the hospitaler um, orders that, that were, you know, a crusading order, they certainly learned a lot in terms of medicine due to the contact they had with the Islamic uh, practitioners. Further evidence of exchange can be found in the coins that are housed here at the museum. As the Crusades occurred, there was an increased interaction between Muslims and Christians, which can be seen in the coinage. So um, you can see this coin from Tripoli um, has Arabic writing across the edges um, with Arabic legends on either side. But as um, Muslim influences increased, there was criticisms, especially by the church and from the Pope in the 13th century. So as you can see in this coin later on, there's a cross right in the centre to sort of reaffirm Christianity. Uh, an Islamic style was a uh, gold Byzantium, which can be seen in these coins. However, cultural exchange wasn't one-sided. It was also uh, Arabic states embracing the Christian tradition of silver coins which can be seen in other coinage. The team also travelled to the British Museum to see what other evidence of exchange they could find there. One of the most important objects that exists in this junction between Islam and Christianity in the Middle Ages is this 13th century ciborium from Limoges in France. As you can see around the top of the bowl is pseudo kufic script, which is aesthetic Arabic. So this actually isn't legible Arabic. It's been designed that way by Christian merchants to appeal to a broader Western audience. The ciborium is the bowl used to hold the bread or wine during the Eucharist. Therefore, this is a very intensely Christian object to be found with Arab text around the Coming up, we'll be travelling to Venice to look at Islamic-inspired glasswork 
and we'll hear more from leading historians as to how the Crusades facilitated an increase in trade between Arabs and Europeans. There is a cliché in medieval historiography which was um, created by Jacques Le Goff who said that the only thing that the Crusaders brought back from the East was the apricot, meaning that actually nothing, uh, nothing happened in terms of trade, and this is actually not true. Noise, I guess. And, and screamed. Ah! 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 <laughs> <laughs> you should probably think we're so weird. Yeah. Mm. Right, okay, what else?